Hey everyone, Sean Clement here at the beautiful Royal Quebec Golf Club uh, for Wisdom in Golf, of course. And uh, today we're talking about accuracy for the driver. Now, granted, this new Ping G410 Plus with this new Tensei Orange shaft has brought my driving into a whole new dimension. I, I have a hard time working the ball with this because it goes too straight. Now, Royal Quebec has, you know, bowling alleys for, for, for um, fairways. We got tree, it's tree lined throughout the whole 36 holes. It's wonderful because there's not one house on this golf course, but you know, when you, when you sneak one into the trees, it's not, it's not much fun. You have to punch out and take your, you know, take your licks. So in order for you to drive the ball more accurately, and these classic courses are not as long as, you know, the big courses where they give you more space, but you got to open up the machine. We're here. It's like when you watch the guys on tour and they really have to put one in play, they're going to tee it off very low or you'll see them do this. And they'll make a dent in there and they'll, they'll, they'll just drop the ball on that dent and they'll give themselves the perfect lie for a driver off the deck. And this is what's fun about fairway woods and, uh, and drivers. You'll notice that if I was hitting the fairway wood off the ground, look how nice and wide that fairway wood is on the bottom. And what I'm looking for is a nice deflection along the surface of the ground. So if I swing my club back and through without stopping, look at how close to the ground this club stays in both directions. So if all I do is just let the sole of the club sweep along the ground the same way a stone's going to skip on water, well then I'm going to get really solid contact. Here we go. And I've got, wow, I've got, <laughs> that was fun. So I've got this beautiful contact with the, the face of the club only because I was focused on the bottom of the club skipping across the ground. So if I were to do that with the driver, I'm going to take a ball and put it on the deck here. And uh, my driver is a nine degree driver. It's basically set on standard. I'm going to take my intermediate point here. And I'm going to do the same thing. The sole of the club, hear that sound, is going to deflect along the surface of the ground. So I've, I've got the club in the center, the ball forward of that. And now I'm just going to let it deflect along the ground in that direction. Here we go. Hear that sound? That's the sound of a ball hitting the center of that club face and compressing beautifully in the direction I want the ball to go. So in order for me, and that's what's really cool, if the sole of the club stays flat along the surface of the ground, that club face stays nice and square for a long period of time, all I got to do now is tee up the ball where if the sole of the club is delivered along the surface of the grass and just grazes grass along the ground, then the ball is forced to hit the center of the face. So I'm basically using the ground as a training aid. How cool is that, huh? So I'm just going to tee that up just a smidge. There we go. So notice now I've got the club on the ground right now and you can see the ball is right there in the center of that club face. So I got my intermediate point and uh, whoa, we got somebody who just snuck in the way of me hitting shots out into that driving range. So I'm going to have to change alignments here. So what we're looking for now, and uh, <laughs> we got a little bit away from him because he was only about 213 yards away. There's the back of the range right there and some members like to come and hit some shots. So um, I'm now about 400 yards away from him. So we should be good. I'm going to use that intermediate point in front of the ball right here. Nice little power fade. I'm going to skirt this right parallel, basically about to half the height of the tree that you see out here in front of you. And all I'm doing now, notice how the ball is hidden from the club face. All I'm doing now is letting the sole of the club stay along the surface of the grass as I whip it through. Look at that. Man, I just could not draw a straighter line than that. Fantastic. 
So, and you notice that T is still in there. All I'm doing is I'm sweeping through the tip of that T along the surface of the ground. So the, the ground now, so if I'm, if my, if I change that axis of rotation because I default back to the ball, now I'm moving down into the ground. That's not going to be very good. And if I sway too much, I'm going to drop kick the club into the ground. But if I stay with the whip along the ground, whip along, whip along, see that? It forces everything to stay uh, nice and supported. If I drop everything behind me, I'll have a tendency to, you know, drop kick it again. And uh, if I pick up the club too much, then I'm going to have a tendency to gouge it too much. Now I don't have the luxury of that ball being on a high tee. So for those of you who need a much more stable center with the driver, then you play the club in the center. All right, just like a fairway would. Let's bring that up a little bit. So you'll play the center of the club head and the center of your feet, the ball forward of that. And now all we're doing is we're staying along the surface. See that? See how low the club stays along the ground here beyond the ball? Great way to hit the shots. And you know, for those of you who, who don't have problems with distance and need that accuracy on a tight course, this is the way to go about it. You're gonna love, you know, you'll be able to put that ball right in the center of that bowling alley uh, more often than not, okay? Hope you enjoyed that. See you next week.